It's the first video of the year and we are going to be talking about iCloud storage. But before I do that, I would like to welcome each and every one of you in 2025. This is Digital Technologies and the message I have for you guys is to stay logged in and don't lose focus on your goals. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about iCloud storage. Now I know a lot of you have your devices and you are struggling with storage space. But don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get iCloud storage for free, specifically on the Apple device. So if you have an iPhone, this video is for you. So watch to the very end and I'll show you guys how to get iCloud storage on your device for free. Now we're going to need a couple of things before we can get that storage for free. One of the very things you're going to need is a VPN. So make sure you have a VPN installed on your device. If you do not have one, I recommend one for you guys during the course of the tutorial. So make sure you get that VPN and install it on your device. Another thing you're going to need is a US address. But don't worry, if you don't have one, I'll also show you how you can get a US address. And last but not least, it's a card. A dollar card to be specific. Make sure your card is active and live and not a dead card. If you have these three items, you can get the Apple iCloud storage for free. But if you do not, please make sure you get them. Come back to the video. Watch the entire tutorial and then you get your Apple iCloud storage for free. I had to chip this part in because I forgot to mention it in the requirements. But you will need an Apple ID which is in the United States. Now if you don't know how to switch your Apple ID from your current country to the United States, please make sure to check out this video. I've already done that in a previous video so I'll leave the link in the description. So for those of you who already have your Apple ID in the US of A, please make sure to follow the process I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you how you can get Apple iCloud storage for free so that you do not lose all your photos, documents and other important stuff that are on your Apple device. You can get the storage and back up all those information onto your iCloud storage and they will be safe forever. So let's do that now. Okay guys, so on your iPhone, open the VPN that you just installed. Now a very good VPN will give you a lot of servers to choose from. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the servers that are in the United States. Mine is already connected to New Jersey, so go ahead and choose anyone that you want. But just make sure that it is a server in the United States. It could be Chicago, it could be Virginia, any one of those states, as long as it's in the United States. So go ahead and connect to it. After you are done connecting, if you want to double check, open your control center from the top and you will see this symbol over there that says VPN. This shows that you are connected. Now close your VPN and open your browser and search Best Buy USA. Okay so when you search Best Buy USA you get a lot of search results. Now the first one is the correct one so go ahead and open that link. Also I'll leave the link in the description if you are finding it difficult to get the right link. Now that the website has loaded, there's this pop-up notification asking us to allow the website to access our current location. Please select do not allow. It's very important that you select that option. After that, click on the search bar at the top and type iCloud storage and click on search. This will give you a bunch of options for you to choose from, but we are interested in the first one that says Apple free iCloud plus for up to three months new or qualified returning subscribers only. So go ahead and select that one. Now over here, click on the button that says add to cart. Click on the button below that says go to cart. Now click on the checkout button. Okay, so after clicking the checkout button, you'll be redirected to this page that is asking you to either sign in your Best Buy account or create one. Now, I know we do not have a Best Buy account, but do not panic. I'm going to show you how you can get through this process. So the first thing you want to do is click on the button that says continue as guest. Okay, so on this page, they are asking us for a bunch of information. The first information they are asking for is the payment information and also the contact information. Now, for the payment information, you need to add a dollar card. Now, it cannot be any other card apart from a dollar card. So whether it's a Visa card, a MasterCard, Discover, Amex, any card, as long as it's a dollar card. If you use any other currencies card, this will not work, okay? So if you don't have access to a dollar card, I'll leave the link in the description to videos that I've done about how to get dollar cards. Make sure to go and get yourself a dollar card and come back and continue the process. All right, so I have my dollar card and I'm going to enter the information here. Now, the dollar card you're going to enter has to be a live card. It does not have to be a dead card. It has to be a live card, which means it has to be active. You are not going to be deducted any funds from this card. So keep that in mind. Like I said, 
we are getting this for free so they're not going to deduct any amount from your card so if you have like hundred dollars on your card don't worry you still have your hundred dollars on your card after this after you are done following this process okay if you have twenty dollars your money will still be on your card after you are done following this process let's continue go ahead and enter your card details after doing that you move on to the billing address enter your first name and your last name now for the address section it needs to be a US address. So like we did in a previous video about Apple Entertainment, we need to go and use this website called Fake Address Generator to generate a fake US address and come and use it in this part of the video. So go ahead and head on to that website, Fake Address Generator. Generate your fake US address details and come and fill it in the address, city, state, and zip code. After doing that, head on over to the contact information section and enter an email address please do not enter a fake email address make sure that the email address you enter over here is a real and actual email address that you have access to this is very important for the next part of the video so go ahead and enter that email address as for the phone number you can use a fake phone number preferably one from the united states so go back to the website fake usa generator copy the phone number there and come and paste it here now create a password a solid password for your account after filling out all this information and creating your password, click on create account. Now this will create a guest account for you on the Best Buy platform. Now that your guest account has been successfully created, you can go ahead and place your order. So click the yellow button over there that says place your order. Take note, you receive an email from Best Buy which is telling you to verify your email address. You can do that later or immediately, dealer's choice. Alright, so proceed and place your order. On this page, you'll be asked to make sure that all the information you provided is accurate. So you can feel free to peruse through, make sure that everything is accurate before proceeding. Now if everything is okay, just click on the button that says keep address as entered. If you made a mistake and you want to update your address, you can go ahead and do that. But mine is okay, so we are going to proceed and click on the button that says keep address as entered. So that's why clicking on the button that says keep address as entered, you will be redirected back to this page with all your information. Don't worry about it. This is not a problem. Just go ahead and scroll down and click on the yellow button that says place your order. Best Buy does this just to ensure that everything runs smoothly on your system because your system is very sensitive when it comes to placing orders on guest accounts. As you can see, our order has been processed and now Best Buy has received it. You can see your order number over there all you have to do right now is just wait for your order to be processed and you receive an email with further instructions this is why i told you that it is important for you to use an email address that you actually have access to and not a temporary or fake email address okay so after opening the email i received and you can see the details are all provided in your email the order is waiting to be fulfilled so i think i waited for about 15 to 20 minutes all right so whilst best buy is processing our order i'd like to take this opportunity to tell you guys to subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos like this and also leave a like on the video if you found it very useful and share this with others who you know will find it useful and so that they can also enjoy free iCloud for up to three months all right guys so let's head back in okay so scratch that it wasn't 15 to 20 minutes it was seven minutes and after waiting for seven minutes patiently i got this email notification from best buy all right so go ahead and open the email and follow the instructions all right so in the email we are getting up to three months of free apple iCloud plus storage for everything that matters to us all right so scroll down until you see the redeem button and click on the redeem button as you can see on your screen there it is over there with the offer double click your power button to redeem and there you have it ladies and gentlemen you have successfully activated 50 gigabytes free iCloud storage on your Apple device so if you follow the process step by step and you do not skip a beat you should have your 50 gigabytes of iCloud storage activated on your Apple device go ahead and back up all your photos your documents your memories and all the important information that you want to so that you do not lose the original copies so enjoy the storage space feel free to reach out if you have any problems in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions until then take care i'll see you again Peace.